it's made for outdoors. What's it called again? I didn't get that. Aruba. What does it mean? Aruba. It's made in Australia. And it's, it's, this hat is weatherproof, bulletproof, like me. <laughs> what you doing, Doc? Are you filming this, actually? Oh, my God. Well, say uh, something interesting. You're... All right, I'm working oh, on okay. it. Um, That's an uh, hat. Talk about the turnout. We had, such a, we had a real good turnout today. Yeah, today was great. I was impressed. There were so many people showed up, and we weren't even prepared. <laughs> um, we'll be ready next time. Um, come on over. <laughs>
said, so say the rules and points of fiction. Well, my sweet woman waves goodbye to that time. Now she can travel the special number in this lovely day. My name is Jay. Jay, okay. Go ahead, Brian. Can you okay, tell us a little right. bit about yourself? So this is, uh, my name is Brian Campbell. I'm from Montreal, and uh, although I was born originally in Toronto, and uh, uh, I'm an Anglophone, as we were talking about, but I do speak a bit of French, and there's a bit of French on my album, but it's, it's all in English. Uh, my album is called The Courtier's Manuscript. It is, um, uh, you could call it folk pop for adventurous souls. It is. Um, uh, is it, it an acoustic? Is it acoustic or el acoustic electric? Or it's acoustic, electric. It's a mixture of all kinds of things. It's a real hybrid. It, it, it crosses genres as well. Uh, I have. Um, it's myself and guitar, and this is very acoustically based. But there are. Um, it's got some very unusual elements. It's got well, we've got five guest artists, including. Um, Chris Smith, who plays tuba and trombone, uh, a uh, Eva Dang, who plays soprano sax and bass clarinet, a uh, female back vocalist who's like, whose voice is angelic, named Chantal Marchand. And this is all arranged, programmed, recorded by a marvel of a fellow named Pierre Saint Marie, who also plays the electric guitar on this album. And um, this is it. This is <laughs> I don't know what I look like. How, anyway. how long have you been playing? <laughs> and I've been playing, goodness, for about, um, let me see, uh, it's about 17 years 17 now. 17 years. It takes that long. It takes yeah. that long, and I'm a crossover. I was a poet before, and I uh, played guitar as a hobby, really. Started writing songs around 93, when I moved to, Tr to Montreal. And uh, Montreal inspired the songwriting romantic in me. And uh, all these songs are about... You know, there's a guy playing the guitar here, and up here is a, a woman, and it's supposedly a kind of a Romeo and Juliet. Okay, kind of once again, what's the record called? It's called The Courtier's Manuscript. Okay. Just so if you can give us a yeah. plug here, just say Brian, and uh, just a big thumbs up for Tex. All right, okay, okay. thumbs up for Tex, and uh, this is Brian, and um, well, oh, we're right, gonna listen it's to a journey of, of songs. You're gonna see me play solo. There's a few couple solo tracks here. If you're ever around in my neighborhood, consider dropping by if I'm in all that you in. If you're ever around where I happen to live, I won't be mad or scared, I'll let you in. Songs and stories and jokes and anecdotes to tell and show you some old choice photographs. I hope my old friends we once were will find plenty to laugh about and talk old times over a bottle of wine. Over a bottle of wine. So rude becomes 
I hope the anguish we suffered, dear, has made us sweeter, yes, still, yes, lovelier than when we were so young. I hear you now with another man who's doing far better than, far better, dear God, I hope than I could have done, than I could have done. Smith. Um, I've been playing for about three years. Uh, I love folk music, Celtic music. Uh, my biggest influences would be like Johnny Cash, Bob Dylan, um, that kind of folk. And uh, I have some a couple kind of amateur kind of recordings at uh, mp3.com, www.mp3.com slash swso so you can listen to them. Who did the recordings? Day. Um, I did them myself. Oh, well, to I played, uh, I dubbed over the drums and the uh, guitar and piano or whatever I need. Uh, what, uh, what kind of machine? Was it a cassette? Or? Uh, no, I do it on the computer. Oh, okay. You can yeah. get some good recordings there. This, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And it's, uh, it's good to be able to produce your own music. What do you, uh, which, which direction are you heading for? Um, hopefully after... Uh, um, you mean like academically and stuff? Well, your so music, hopefully. that's what we're here to talk hopefully, about today. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, just keep doing live performances throughout university and stuff and uh, hopefully do some busking downtown and so
I'm Michelle Rasky. I'm an artist from Toronto, yeah. Canada, and uh, I've been performing uh, for the past few years my solo work. I also have a band, a uh, drummer and bass player, that uh, play with me about 50% of the time, and 50% of the time I'm doing it solo. I've um, been playing guitar seriously now for about seven years or so, and performing my own stuff at uh, local clubs for the past several years. Um, I have a CD out that came out about a year and a half ago called What I Meant to Say. And uh, right now the band and I are in studio recording for a second CD to come out this fall. Uh, any t working title? Uh, not a working title just yet, but uh, we have about eight tunes down, um, written and a couple uh, bed tracks already been yeah. laid down. As, as an indie uh, artist, how, how do you go about promoting your stuff? Because it, it is tough. Yeah. Uh, well, certainly um, the internet has made that a lot easier in terms of um, being able to, to access people and uh, be part of web pages, have your own web page, that kind of thing. Um, as well, just uh, collecting emails at every gig, uh, trying to get the word out, posters, flyers, um, you know, working with other artists and establishing contacts that way. Yeah. Now, when you do have a gig, do you announce it uh, through, uh, through your email list? Uh, yeah, I always put out an email for the shows. Yeah. And um, there's a few people that, uh, that you know, maybe a phone as well, and just try to get the word out as best as I can. Uh, have you had any run into any problems with uh, people complaining about spam? Even though, um, I, I really try not to spam anybody. If I do, it's usually by accident, um, or occasionally I'm put on another artist's email, and I figure, well, that's fair game to send them some stuff as well. Um, but uh, there's always a disclaimer at the bottom. You know, if you've received the list an error or need to be taken off, it's no problem. Yeah. No pressure, kind of promotion. <laughs> uh, what's your, I think, any, any good or bad stories about the internet? Um, you know, my experience with it's been uh, mainly through emails and, and I have a uh, web, website up with a Toronto-based group called IndieVoice.com. Um, they service pages for a number of artists in the local community and I think they're branching uh, out a little more internationally as well now. Um, so, um, no, there's not really been any specific so problems. Good, good thing. Uh, any of your music online? Uh, yeah, I have um, some downloads available. Well, actually, um, I guess like on a real audio basis, uh, you can visit cdbaby.com. Um, that has some song clips as well, uh, umbrellamusic.com um, and indievoice.com. Okay, the last thing, I just need you to give a plug for text. Just This oh. is Michelle and... Uh, a thumbs up for text, something like that. This is Michelle and thumbs up for text. Hi, my name is Michelle Rasky. <laughs> Ever looking so 
That's for tune of the board and tonight we're there. That's for tune of the ballroom tonight. Some laugh at the politically correct, some call the term and be rules I suspect, but they all still. 